Hello YouTube friends, JG Plains here. I just wanted to give you a quick update on the Scout project, 3D printed fuselage, and also I have a few items that I've designed recently for 3D printing that may help you out with your RC designs. First of all, I have a small 1S battery box and camera mount which I have uploaded to Thingiverse. I will put a link to this in the description below and this will fit your 200 or I'm sorry 20 millimeter camera in the front and a 1S battery in the back you can slide that closed and it nicely holds the battery along with the connector clip so you don't have to mess with that when you're putting your battery in and out of the battery box and the way I use this is I either tape it or glue it or you can rubber band it to the top of your plane and hopefully that will support a small micro FPV mount suitable for use on a UMX uh, product or even a, a larger uh, plane if you so choose. Secondly I have also designed and printed a very small scale what I like to call the baby wonder. This is a very very small 3D printed uh, bloody wonder and all the control surfaces are 3D printed. I've used some tape to hold those to the wings and we have a very small 1806 motor on here 2280 kV and I have thrust tested this with the battery in it. It has plenty of power however at this scale it's probably going to be a little bit squirrely so looking forward to trying that out and the reason why we haven't tried it out yet is because the weather hasn't warmed up uh, recently we had some issues with the Scout project because the weather was so cold and so um, I will show you a quick video here of that and you can see what happened to the Scout on our first flight. Even sure if we got off the ground. <laughs> a little, but she dragged it there. I think my landing gear fell out. So, well, we figured out a weak spot in the landing gear. And uh, it wasn't even glued on. I on. think uh, that's because I used. Oh, did it crack in the middle? That is because I used hot melt glue on the landing gear instead of CA because the rest of the gear stayed perfectly fine. You'll have to pardon the boots and uh, the uh, nice clothes. I know some people were making fun of me for that, but that's because it was Sunday afternoon. It was very, very cold out, and we only had a limited time to fly before uh, it was supposed to start snowing. And uh, quite honestly, our hands were freezing off. So we did fly the Scout. However, we ended up with uh, some broken landing gear. A couple of reasons for this. Number one, because this joint here is very weak and I probably should have made that a little bit thicker. I'll update that next time I, I go and put uh, uh, work on the model. And then also I only glued this on with hot melt glue, so it worked very well, but when it got cold out it was very, very brittle. So I guess just the way it landed, it didn't work out very well this time, and we'll have to work on that. Hopefully we'll have this working by the next time we fly it, and we'll give you a little bit better video. So I'm sorry for the shakes in this video. Um, it was very cold, and my camera was cold. Matter of fact, one of the cameras I had set up didn't work very well at all. Um, it, the camera that was uh, head mounted, which gave a really good view, the footage uh, didn't turn out on the second video, and so I didn't get any of the scout. Uh, but I did have a couple other cameras, and so we do have some footage of the Scout in flight. What I will say is uh, I had a little issue taking off. That's why the gear broke. And when I turned, uh, when it took off, it turned slightly to the, to the right, and it looks like the wind clipped it. And as I looked at the footage again, it looks like the landing gear hit perfectly sideways, which is why they snapped. And that could or could not be helped, I'm not really sure. Um, but hopefully next time we'll have a little bit uh, better place to uh, try and test fly it and a little less wind. But so far um, it flew just fine and as you can see from the footage uh, it did fly. It did have a lot of nose weight in there. It was very very heavy uh, model. However, 
Um, it flew well and I can't complain considering it's the first 3D printed fuselage that I've tested. So as I said before in the other video, I'll probably end up moving the wing back just slightly in order to get the center of gravity a little bit closer to the front of the plane and uh, also I will probably try and compensate with some of the weights in the front. I've got a few different types of weight that I'm going to use. Hopefully that will help with the balance. I was fairly pleased with the flight characteristics. It seemed very stable and I didn't have to trim much at all. Overall, I thought it flew very well, except it seemed slightly nose or tail heavy, but I didn't have time to fix this because it was so cold outside and I wanted to keep flying on the same battery until I landed. I've condensed down the first flight into these few highlights So, as you can see, it flies, and I will get a better video of it and upload it, give you a little bit more um, about the model and, and some more details once we get nicer weather. But here in Indiana, the current temperature is about 6 degrees outside, and it's very cold. So I think we're going to go do some indoor flying tonight. And I hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you later. And I'm looking forward to a lot of things we're going to do this year. Thanks, and have a great weekend.